latent autoimmune diabetes of adults, often also late onset autoimmune diabetes of adulthood or aging, slow onset type 1 diabetes or diabetes type 1.5 is a form of diabetes mellitus type 1 that occurs in adults, often with a slower course of onset. Adults with LADA may initially be diagnosed as having type 2 diabetes based on their age, particularly if they have risk factors for type 2 diabetes such as a strong family history or obesity. The diagnosis is based on the finding of high blood sugar together with the clinical impression that islet failure rather than insulin resistance is the main cause. Detection of a low C-peptide and raised antibodies against the islets of Langer and support the diagnosis. It can only be treated with the usual oral treatments for type 2 diabetes for a certain period of time, after which insulin treatment is usually necessary, as well as long-term monitoring for complications. The concept of LADA was first introduced in 1993. Signs and Symptoms The symptoms of latent autoimmune diabetes in adults are similar to those of other forms of diabetes, excessive thirst and drinking, excessive urination, and often blurry vision. Compared to childhood type 1 diabetes, the symptoms develop comparatively slowly. Diagnosis it is estimated that more than 50% of persons diagnosed as having non-obesity-related type 2 diabetes may actually have LADA. Glutamic acid decarboxylase autoantibody, islet cell autoantibody, insulin noma-associated autoantibody, and zinc transporter autoantibody testing should be performed on all adults who are not obese who are diagnosed with diabetes. Not all people having LADA are thin or skinny. However a euro there are overweight individuals with LADA who are misdiagnosed because of their weight. Moreover, it is now becoming evident that autoimmune diabetes may be highly underdiagnosed in many individuals who have diabetes, and that the body mass index levels may have rather limited use in connections with latent autoimmune diabetes. Equals C peptide equals This test measures residual beta cell function by determining the level of insulin secretion. Persons with LADA typically have low, although sometimes moderate, levels of C-peptide as the disease progresses. Patients with insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes are more likely to, but will not always, have high levels of C-peptide due to an overproduction of insulin. Equals autoantibody panel equals, glutamic acid decarboxylase autoantibodies, islet cell autoantibodies, insulin noma-associated autoantibodies, and zinc transporter autoantibodies. Glutamic acid decarboxylase antibodies are commonly found in diabetes mellitus type 1. Equals islet cell antibodies equals, islet cell IgG cytoplasmic autoantibodies, IFA. Islet cell complement fixing autoantibodies, indirect fluorescent antibody. Islet cell autoantibodies evaluation. Islet cell complement fixing autoantibodies, aids in a differential diagnosis between LADA and type 2 diabetes. Persons with LADA often test positive for ICA, whereas type 2 diabetics only seldom do. Equals glutamic acid decarboxylase antibodies equals, microplate ELISA, anti-GAD, anti-IA2, anti-GADIA2 pool, in addition to being useful in making an early diagnosis for type 1 diabetes mellitus, GAD antibodies tests are used for differential diagnosis between LADA and type 2 diabetes and may also be used for differential diagnosis of gestational diabetes, risk prediction in immediate family members for type 1, as well as a tool to monitor prognosis of the clinical progression of type 1 diabetes. Equals insulin antibodies equals, RIA, anti-GAD, anti-IA2, anti-insulin. Insulin antibodies, these tests are also used in early diagnosis for type 1 diabetes mellitus, and for differential diagnosis between LADA and type 2 diabetes, as well as for differential diagnosis of gestational diabetes, risk prediction in immediate family members for type 1, and to monitor prognosis of the clinical progression of type 1 diabetes. Persons with LADA may test positive for autoantibodies. Autoantibodies are not present in persons with type 2 diabetes. Equals classification equals, 
The expert committee on the diagnosis and classification of diabetes mellitus does not recognize the term LADA. Rather, it includes LADA in the definition of type 1 autoimmune diabetes. Type 1 diabetes results from a cellular mediated autoimmune destruction of the beta cells of the pancreas. In type 1 diabetes, the rate of beta cell destruction is quite variable, being rapid in some individuals and slow in others. A Euro the National Institutes of Health defines LADA as a condition in which type 1 diabetes develops in adults. Prevalence it is estimated that between 6 to 50 percent of all persons, depending on population, diagnosed with type 2 diabetes might actually have LADA. This number accounts for an estimated 5 percent 10 percent of the total diabetes population in the U.S. or, as many as 3.5 million persons with LADA. Equals hypoglycemia equals. Equals hypoglycemia equals. Long-term complications. Prognosis, diabetes, including latent autoimmune diabetes of adults, is a chronic illness that can have devastating complications. However, it is possible for most persons with diabetes to actively participate in their daily health care needs and dramatically reduce the risk of diabetic complications. Patient education, motivation, and state of mental health all play an important role in how well a person with LADA will be able to manage their disease. Comparison, LADA is slow onset type 1 autoimmune diabetes in adulthood. Onset, type 1 diabetes onsets rapidly and at a younger age than does LADA. Family history, there is often a family history of autoimmune conditions and celiac disease, etc. Contrary to popular belief, some people with latent autoimmune diabetes of adults may carry a family history for type 2 diabetes. Autoantibodies, persons with type 1 diabetes and LADA usually test positive for certain autoantibodies that are not present in type 2 diabetes. Studies have reported an association of type 1 diabetes LADA with high-risk genes, HLADR3, HLADR4. There are also TCF7L2 genes associated with type 2 diabetes with latent autoimmune diabetes of adults. GAD autoantibodies, Persons with LADA usually test positive for GAD antibodies, whereas in type 1 diabetes these antibodies are more commonly seen in adults rather than in children. Insulin resistance, people with LADA have insulin resistance similar to long-term type 1 diabetes. Some studies showed that people with LADA have less insulin resistance, compared with those with type 2 diabetes. However, others have not found a difference. Lifestyle and weight, people with LADA typically have a normal BMI or may be underweight due to weight loss prior to diagnosis. Some people with LADA, however, may be overweight to mildly obese. LADA is an autoimmune disease that cannot be prevented. Prognosis, about 80% of all persons initially misdiagnosed with type 2, who have GAD or tone bodies, will become insulin dependent within 3 to 12 years. Those with both GAD and IA2 antibodies, however, will become insulin dependent sooner. LADA occurs more slowly than classic rapid onset type 1 diabetes, though it progresses towards insulin dependency. Treatment The treatment for type 1 diabetes LADA is exogenous insulin, to control glucose levels, prevent further destruction of residual beta cells, reduce the possibility of diabetic complications and prevent death from diabetic tosidosis. Although LADA may appear to initially respond to similar treatment as type 2 diabetes, it will not halt or slow the progression of beta cell destruction, and people with LADA will eventually become insulin dependent. History The concept of latent autoimmune diabetes mellitus was first described in 1993 to describe slow onset type 1 autoimmune diabetes in adults. This followed the concept that GAD or tontibodies were a feature of type 1 diabetes and not type 2 diabetes. References External links Diabetes Research Centre, Melbourne, Australia LADA Information, Trials, Resource Links